In this video, we will talk about social cognitive theory. The proponent of this theory was Albert Bandura. He was a Canadian-American psychologist. He died on July 6, 2021 at age 95, and he was a professor emeritus at Stanford University. According to Bandura, learning occurs through observation, imitation, and modeling, and is influenced by factors such as attention, motivation, attitudes, and emotions. Learning occurs because people observe the consequences of other people's behaviors. Actions that are rewarded are more likely to be imitated, while those that are punished are avoided. Here are the core concepts of this theory. The first concept is people can learn through observation. An example of this is the Bobo doll experiment. In this, children learn and imitate behaviors they have observed in other people. Thus, when the children have observed the behaviors of the adults, they imitated them. This, they imitated their aggressive behaviors. And there are three basic models of, of, of observational learning. First is the live model. This involves an actual individual demonstrating or acting out a behavior. Second is the symbolic model. This involves real or fictional characters displaying behaviors in books, films, television programs, or online media. And the third is verbal instructional model. This involves descriptions and explanations of a behavior. Parents and psychologists debate the impact that pop culture media has on kids. Many worry that kids can earn bad behaviors such as aggression from violent video games, movies, TV, and online. The second concept of this theory states that mental states are important to learning. Reinforcement does not always come from outside sources. Intrinsic reinforcement is a form of internal rewards such as pride, satisfaction, and a sense of accomplishment. Your own mental state and motivation play an important role in determining whether a behavior is learned or not. The final concept is that learning does not necessarily lead to change. People can learn new information without demonstrating new behaviors. Sometimes we are able to learn things even though that learning might not be immediately obvious. There are four key factors for social learning success. The first one is attention. In order to learn, you need to be paying attention. Anything that distracts your attention is going to have a negative effect on observational learning. If the model is interesting or there is a novel aspect of the situation, you are far more likely to dedicate your full attention to learning. The second factor is retention. This is the ability to store information is also important part of the learning process. Retention can be affected by a number of factors, but the ability to pull up information later and act on it is vital to observational learning. The third factor is reproduction. Once you have paid attention to the model and retained the information, it is time to actually perform the behavior you observe. Further practice of the learned behavior leads to improvement and skill advancement. The last factor is motivation. You have to be motivated to imitate the behavior that has been modeled. Reinforcement and punishment play an important role in motivation. While experiencing these motivators can be highly effective, so can observing others experiencing some type of reinforcement or punishment. In summary, by understanding how social learning theory works, you can gain a greater appreciation for the powerful role that observation plays in shaping the things we know and the things we do.